Hello, it's week nine of season four of the Andy Griffith Show. This week's episode title is A Date for Gomer. Barney, what's up this week? I go to Thelma Lou's house, and when she opens the door, I say, Ice cream delivery from Murphy's House of Nine Flavors. And she says, thank you for the ice cream. And I say, well, crying was at a standstill in May Day today, and so I had some extra time on my hands. And then Thelma Lou gets a phone call from her cousin, Mary Grace. Mary Grace says she's coming this afternoon to visit and to stay for three or four days. And then after the phone call, Thelma Lou tells me I'm going to have to get Mary Grace a date for the Chandler Connors dance Saturday night since she and I are already going. And you say, oh, Mary Grace, I remember her. She's a dog. And Thelma Lou says, Barney, that's cruel. And I say, I'm not being cruel. I'm just being honest. Thelma Lou, I can't get her a date. And Thelma Lou says, you get her a date or we're not going to the dance. She wants me to ask Andy. And when I do, Andy says, no, he's taking Helen Crump. And I say, that's okay, because what we really need is to find someone with not too much upstairs. A real idiot. And then Gomer walks in, returning the squad car from servicing. And so you all ask Gomer whether he would like to take Mary Grace out to the dance. And he wants to know whether she's pretty. And you all just keep saying, she's nice. She's so nice. And then fun finally Gomer says, okay. But Thelma Lou doesn't like the idea. And I say, what's the matter with Gomer Tile? He's six feet tall. Look, nobody expects them to get married. It's just one date for one evening. Gomer's nice. If you ever took the time to get under all that gasoline and oil smell, you'd find a heck of a human being. And Thelma Lou says, okay, as long as Andy and I dance with Mary Grace once that night too. And so they tell Mary Grace the plan, and she wants to know whether Gomer's handsome. And Thelma Lou and Helen just keep saying he's nice. He's so nice. So after a while, Mary Grace says she'll go. And then Gomer comes in the courthouse the next day and shows you all, all these new clothes he's bought for the date. He's really excited about it. He's bought a tie, socks, belt, shoes. And you all start feeling bad because he's, talking, he's saying things like Mary Grace could be Miss Wright for him, and he wonders whether she's too pretty for him. And then he says, just don't overexpect. So on the night of the dance, we get all dressed up, and we go over to Thelma Lou's house, and go and meets Mary Grace. So the six of us are all sitting in Thelma Lou's living room, and it's pretty awkward for a while. And then Goner stands up suddenly and leaves. He says there's something he's got to do. And then Mary Grace wants an aspirin because she says she's got a headache. And she tells us to go to the dance without her. Now the other girls are mad as we leave because of what Goner did. But then the audience sees why Gomer really left. Uh, it wasn't because of Mary Grace. It was because... Uh, he wanted to get a corsage for her because the other two women had corsages already, but she didn't. And he comes back after you all have left to give it to her. Meanwhile, we get to the dance and the girls don't even want to go in because they're still mad. And Andy says, let's just go home. And I say home. That's right, home. A man stands nunny getting a suit spotted and dressed, takes two hours tossing his hat, and for what? Heartaches. But then we throw it to Thelma Lou's house and we hear loud music. Turns out Gomer and Mary Grace are getting along real well, dancing up the storm. And after they finish dancing, Gomer tells us funny stories about him and Skinny Griffin. Well, I'm glad it worked out well. We'll see you next week for episode 10.